The scene here dramatically different than what we saw earlier as we were covering that crash. This is Kemper Road here. You can see traffic moving along just fine now. That car actually landed after the crash underneath of the I-75 overpasses there. Investigators tell us this midday the man who died was 26-year-old Jesse Fatora from Colerine Township. Two other people in the car survived and just one of them had minor injuries. The crash happened at about 12.50 this morning, according to police. Investigators say Fatora was driving the car of a friend when the car went off the left side of I-75 before the bridge and barreled down an embankment. It flipped and wrecked on Kemper Road, closing the area for hours. And for the first time this midday, we're now hearing 911 calls of a passerby who worked with dispatchers trying to use CPR to revive Fatora. Is he flat on his back on the floor? Yes, sir. Okay. Kneel yes, by, by his side, expose his chest. Pinch his nose. Right. And with your other hand, if you can... Oh. Lift the chin so that the head bends back completely. Cover their mouth with your mouth. The caller goes on to say that the CPR wasn't working. Investigators aren't sure the factors that played into this crash or what caused this crash in the first place. We're told they're looking into drugs and alcohol with toxicology reports, and they're also looking into speed, though they say the crash itself seems to be consistent with interstate speeds because that car was coming off the interstate. We'll, of course, continue to follow this story for any new developments. For now, we're live in Sharonville. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.